welcome back to my online video tutorial series at the end of this video you should be able to draw an archimedean spiral when giving the larger radius and the shortest radius in this case i'll be using a larger radius of 100 millimeter and a shorter or shortest radius of 50 millimeters what's an archimedean spiral an Archimedean spiral is a part of a point moving uniformly along a straight line, rotating about a fixed point at an even rate. For us to draw an Archimedean spiral, we would need to establish first our horizontal and vertical datum line. So I'll start by establishing my horizontal and vertical datum line. Engage orthogonal mode. This ensures that lines are drawn either at 90 degree or 180 degrees. So line, it'll enter, start point, enter, space bar to reactivate the command. My next step is to click and grip second line at the middle point, then move this to the center. Click, escape. Next step is to draw a circle, draw two circles. These two circles should have radius of 100 millimeters and 50 millimeters respectively. C, enter. Center point is where both data lines meet. First radius is 30, 3, 0, enter. Space bar to reactivate, center. Radius 100, 1, 0, 0, enter. Escape. Now you will realize that I'm drawing on the wrong layer. To change that, I click both circles. Click the layer drop down command. Choose my construction layer. Escape. The next step is to draw a line. Draw a line between the distance of both, both um, circles. The distance, the difference between draw a line equivalent to the difference of both circles. Uh, for that, L, enter. So for that, I intend to draw its line again. So I start here. Click at that point, enter. Uh, check to ensure that selection cycling is on. What selection cycling does, selection cycling will allow you to choose among duplicated lines that are lines that are drawn over each other. Go in here, change into my center line. I redraw my line there. The next step is to divide the circle into a number of equal parts. This could be six, eight, or 12 equal parts. For this example, I'm using eight equal parts. So I type divide DIV, DIV, enter. Select objects I want to divide the circle. Enter the number of segments or part which I want the circle to be divided into. In this case, it's eight. Type eight, enter. Here, I haven't seen, I haven't noticed any changes. So to see where the points are, we need a, we, we utilize a command, a command called DDP type or point type. 
P T Y P E enter. From here, we can choose among the point style that we wish to use. We can also change the size of the point size. Currently, mine is, is a, a point. And uh, clearly, a point would not be visible on a line. But that I'll change to this one. I also wish to change, well, I think five should be good. I also change this to set size in absolute units. What that does, that prevents the node from adjusting whenever you zoom or pan. And there we have our nodes. The next step is to draw lines through these points. L. In this case, I need to deactivate my orthogonal mode as it will only, it will restrict the cursor to drawing lines only in the horizontal and vertical axis. Spacebar to reactivate, click, click, enter, spacebar to reactivate, click. Well, we could work with this for now. Uh, the next step is to divide the distance between both, circumference, both circumferences into the same number of equal parts that we use to draw, the, to uh, divide a circle into. In this case, it's eight. Again, you go to divide, D, I, V, enter. Select object, click here. And from here, we have these are all the number of lines that we, we currently have here. At this point, we have three lines. What, what selection cycling does, it allows all the lines to be projected in a drop down in a, in a dialog box. All right, so I can choose among lines. I could choose uh, this line, enter number of segments I want, also eight, eight, enter. And there we go. There we go, we have eight equal sections. Now, my next step is to add some number to these. All right, so we'll go in from number, we start at zero. So for that, I go to text, click text drop down box, choose single line text. And uh, it belongs with a specified uh, starting point. My starting point is here. Uh, text height of, uh, let, let's use um, five in this case. Five, enter. For rotation angle, let that be zero. So here we have one. Oh, I need to change to my, to my um, text layer, click on text layer first. Um, space bar to reactivate text, click starting point, text height of five, enter, rotation angle of zero, enter to accept that. First one, you have one, two, three, four, five, six <coughs> sorry seven and or eight eight points we will continue in like manner uh, by labeling these also so this would be one two three four five, six, seven, and uh, this will be your eight point. Click outside, escape. The next step is to, is to um, join, use arc to join from one to one, arc from two to point two, line two, arc from point three to three on the radiating lines. 
the do that I go to our drop down and I want to choose start what center start end center start end center start end so I click here this is my center point my starting point is here it's extremely important that you read the command bar then I move one to one again I want to change my construction layer so for that I click there construction layer uh, for this I'm probably be using a uh, window as my construction layer well from my own um, construction line here as it is somewhat a little bit different from what I have for my text my text here is in a is this pink or um, peach go back here um, select my start point specify a center click here as my start point this time I move around to two click click space bar to reactivate it's important to know that in this case if you use space bar to reactivate you will need to engage center all right as it, in this case it talks is for the start point first so i click start point here um so this would this would not be able to work in this case space bar space bar or enter to reactivate is not effective you will need to click up here each time each time or if you do that you if you use space bar you must engage center by typing c or click center here center here click here that point move to the next line click spacebar to reactivate c for center enter center here start point draw bring this one all the way around to this point spacebar to reactivate c for center enter and my center is here click here and drag all the way around it's important to remember also that um arcs are drawn in anti-clockwise direction so if you wish to draw an arc in the opposite direction or in the clockwise direction you would need to spacebar c for center enter specify the center yes as i was saying arcs are drawn in the anti-clockwise direction from 0 to 90 to 180 270 then 360. if you wish to draw an arc in the in the clockwise or against the normal rotation angle you need to hold on hold on control key while you're doing that very important So we draw this all the way around to here. Click spacebar to reactivate. C for center. Enter. Specify my center. And I think that is pretty much it. Our next step is to join the points from here. Plot, to, plot that point all the way around. To do that, we change to our outline layer. Outline. and uh outline okay outline layer then engage spline s p l spline enter deactivate orthogonal mode if it's on in my case it's already off next step here is our starting point zero to zero one click here one two two click three and then to four point five down to point six point seven and point eight i like to stretch this out a little bit click at a point enter 
then tomorrow for excess tr enter enter two times enter all right tr enter once select cutting plane enter click here that's done what cutting plane does cutting plane determines where the line is trimmed for our cutting boundary so here we have this is our oh no or archimedean spiral uh, from this we could draw a tangent normal and uh, we'll be doing that in our next video thank you for watching remember practice makes perfect